Hey Tires, Darren here. Welcome back to another fly tying tutorial. Today we're going to be tackling Eddie Rickard's Calabatus Nymph in a peacock version. There's also tan, olive, black, or a rusty orange version that can be tied. For those of you who don't know, Denny Rickards is a Western Stillwater icon, and basically any fly that he puts his name to is one that's going to be a proven pattern, so you can put your trust in that. He's also the author of several books and has been on television series, and uh, one of the books in particular that I enjoyed was Stillwater Patterns for Trophy Trout. I'll put a link in the description so you can check that out. This fly is excellent for western and eastern lakes. It's tied in a fullback style, and it can be fished on either a dry line with a long leader, say 12 to 15 feet, and just fished below the surface, or it can be tied onto a full sinking line and just use short retrieves along weed beds and underwater structure. So let's have a look at the material list and get started. Alright, let's get a hook in the vise. Today I'm using a Mustad Signature R60 and this one is number 10. Just put that in the jaws. And I'm using a, I guess this is a tan um, Benici, Benici 11 aught thread. I'll just start by putting a layer of thread on the hook shank. And first thing we're going to tie in today is the tail. So I've got a mallard flank. And we're just going to take a few fibers off the uh, side here. We just want to make sure we match those up before we rip them off. And we're going to tie that in as the tail. So we'll measure that about a hook length. Maybe a touch longer, it doesn't hurt. And uh, we'll come back up to the front. Trim that off. You can tie this in as a single feather if you've got a, a really long uh, flag feather. Next I'm going to take a second length of this. Tear those wispy ones off the bottom. And we'll get those all matched up again. Tear them off. And I'm going to tie those in by the tips. This is going to form our shell back. Just want to make sure that's right on top there. Gives you a little bit more durability in the fly doing it this way. All right, next we're going to tie in a length of copper wire. And I always like to just leave a little bit extra and fold that back just for a little bit added durability. And next, we're going to take some peacock hurl and take four or five pieces off the stem here. We're just going to trim off those butts, tie those in toward the tail. And we'll wind our thread forward. You can reinforce these if you like. I'm just going to wrap these. kind of gives a little bit fuller body. And 
Okay, we're just not going to go right to the eye. We want to give ourselves a little bit of room to work at the head of the fly. Pull those back, secure them in place. Trim them. Now you can either use a furnace hackle or a, a, a grizzly ginger type or grizzly dyed orange hackle for this. This is a saddle hackle. All I do is I just pull all the fibers forward so they're standing kind of at a 45 or a 90 degree angle to the stem. Pull a few off the front. Tie those in and then I just fold that stem back just so that it's really locked in place. It's not going to come loose. I'll trim that piece of stem off there. We're going to wind back, shiny side facing forward. And we don't want this too heavily hackled. This, this is a uh, wet fly. It's about five wraps back is cool. And we're going to take our wire, we're going to catch that and then wrap forward. Up to the head, pull everything back. A couple wraps, pull the wire back. Then we'll helicopter that off. Trim the tail or the uh, hackle off the back. So then I just like to take my thumb and forefinger. We're just gonna kind of separate the hackle and pull it down. Want to make sure that you don't mix up the uh, shell back and the tail. And we're just going to slowly bring that over top. And give that a couple wraps. A couple wraps underneath. And then we'll lock it down. Trim that off and just clean the head up a little bit. There you go. Thanks for stopping by my fly tying channel and watching my tutorials. If you're new here and like this sort of thing, why not hit that subscribe button? I'd love to hear from you, so if you have anything to say, leave it in the comments below. Until next time, this is Darren saying, Keep a hook in your vice. Cheers.